Good morning. Hey guys. <laughs> it's Adam and Jade from Give Keeper. And we wanted to do an update video to our progress at Give Keeper, what's been going on the last week. More than a week, I think. <laughs> maybe more than a week. Yeah, so um, things have kind of changed directions a little bit. We've gotten really busy in seam re brewing and bottling and transitioning to kegs. And so we've brought some staff up from Phnom Penh to, to assist in the kitchen, two employees. And um, so that leaves us three in Phnom Penh, which is running relatively low on sales. So we're kind of re-exploring how to use that space more effectively. And yeah, so uh, we need to, like, we realize that Phnom Penh is growing, but not as fast as we had originally planned. So we sort of came to the realization that the runway we have to keep Give Kiefer um, afloat right now is shorter than we had realized. So we're just sort of um, in a moment here, the last couple weeks where we're like, okay, well, what do we do? Because we love this business so much. It's doing so much good. It's so good. And we just, anyways, we're just in love with it. Yeah. It's great. And so we're keeping it alive. No so we're keeping what. it alive somehow. <laughs> we just aren't exactly sure how at this moment. So we're kind of, um, you know, I guess so we're deciding officially... to stay in gratitude and like joy I guess for like what is coming to us because I get the tendency to sort of like delve into fear and worry and kind of put this like timeline out there like oh in eight weeks we're done and then I just think about that and so anyways been making the decision to um, you know look towards positive like uh, look to the good coming, look to the good see what's coming our way and has so, given us some good ideas we are reaching out officially to another round of investment third round um, we have two potential investors we're also thinking about a uh, GoFundMe type situation because I think we'd be perfect for that I think we present beautifully and I think people would love to um, you know vote for that with their dollars and our stores are great and yeah. when someone invests in it, they're investing in us. We're they're putting ourselves in into this business. Like we are fully 100% behind yeah. it. Like you get us, you get this awesome business, you get awesome staff. Yeah. That the staff is you get, it's the best part, the definitely. Staff. But I made this poster yesterday about why we're so awesome to put on our wall. Like, what do we do that's good? And I'm like, okay, we give key for, we create fair, fair jobs, like good jobs. We're good to our planet. We reuse our bottles. What were the other ones? <laughs> We're good to our local farmers. We support local chemical-free farmers. Um, we leave most of our money in Seam Reap. It goes into the hands of people who need food. <laughs> and we give food. So as I was making this poster, I'm like, we actually are awesome. <laughs> and then I ended it by saying thank you for making this possible for us. And we really do want to thank you for making this possible because we love this business. And, and we love the impact it has and the impact it has on our lives. So we're voting for it. We think it's, it's, it's wonderful and it's growing and has so much potential. People love it. We're getting so much, so much feedback. People just are, they can't believe it. <laughs> People come in and they're like, I can't believe you guys are here. I just, I Googled kombucha and you guys are here. What is this place? Like, can I have one of these? And we're like, maybe. <laughs> we're thinking about franchises. We're going in all kinds of directions right now, but, um, all growth all growth yes. all growth you know you know there was like a, we have a tendency we're like okay let's shrink it down to make it more sustainable and we're like that's not the direction we're going like we are going growth Grow this is die. a fantastic business everything it touches it's doing great yeah. it's doing good so we just want to see it continue to grow so that's where we're putting our our energy and our attention and uh, believing that when you put what you put your attention on you get more of um, that's where we're at. Sales where are we're growing. At. They're ticking up slowly. The staff is doing a great job. We're moving a lot of kefir. We're really spinning a hangover cure um, topic right now. We're like, we're healthy and we're a hangover cure. And we're right around the corner from Pub Street in both locations. So we're just like lacing Pub Street with these flyers that show how beautiful a beverage is and offer them a free glass on tap. and really tote its hangover curing magical powers which it certainly does have some so it's not a lie <laughs> no not at all 
<clears throat> and we think so that was actually a pretty major um, decision point for us because we were trying to capture that crowd by offering them alcohol. But they didn't and at like some us. point we realized that yeah, they didn't we can't they're not compete. loving it. They're like, You guys are a health shop. Like what happens when you put alcohol in it? We're like uh. They're like, I come in here and I wanna be healthy. Like I I plenty go to Pump Street to like be dirty and eat greasy food and drink cheap beer. Like we can't compete with them. So we're laying so, low on the whole alcohol thing right now. Laying low. We're still offering it but we're not that's we're not offering our thing those now. people a remedy at the we're end like, of their Pump Street experience. Yeah. <laughs> drink this, it's good for hydration. Chapter and vitamins, two of Pop like Street antioxidants. <laughs> It'll like help you with your hangover. So we just stop no in here. No downside. Either before, during, or after your drinking binge, or all yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. And have a free glass on us, and see if you like it first. You will. <laughs> You're getting, nobody doesn't like. People come in, they're like, "Oh my God, what is this?" And I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> so I think there's going to be some updates in our marketing material. We're kind of changing a few things and the vibe to sort of... We put our picture on it. Yep. A picture of Jade and I are, is on there now. Um, Honest one. We just thought it'd be good for people to see our faces, you know, like what's behind. Like, we tried to put a younger, cuter couple, but our investors um, demanded <laughs> correction. <laughs> so we're using actually... A, anyways. Yeah. We're repping picture. our faces. <laughs> um, yesterday we had some... Uh, we made some friends at the shop, some... Well, we oh, always met friends, but we met some wonderful people yesterday. Um, a boy, 19. Super tall, super handsome, so yeah, he's sweet. He's like 6'5". You guys would love him. And just super nice guy, 19 years old, and he's in a program with YWAM, and he's in a city called Popet in Cambodia. You guys, which is a and they're basically no offense, feeding people. A crappy, crappy border city that it's nobody not. does anything but pass through. That's my understanding. That's the experience we've had. And they but it seems like some other people are having a different experience in Popet. I'm just saying, we wouldn't have opened a gift key for in Popet, but now I want to because these guys have four churches there. They are like changing lives. They're feeding people, and they're doing it beautifully. Anyway, they found us by by searching kombucha and came in and we're like no way and I was like I came to your service last night <laughs> well, so Kyle's dad Jeff is in town for two weeks just hanging out with his son and they came in and his dad's like I need some kombucha so they Google searched it we popped up and they came in anyway so they're hauling a bunch of water kefir back to Popet to share with the team there on their base and um, hopefully we can find a way to help them Get that into their space there maybe even brewing they're opening it a cafe in january so i'm kind of hoping it'll be a, a cafe slash brewery <laughs> anyway so it gave us you know an idea like some energy towards an idea we've had which is to sort of franchise this model through even a church group or church groups you know where they could We're like use it <laughs> like a lot of times churches have coffee shops yep. like why not Good have a little too. kombuchery yeah. or a little why like water apple? kefir probiotic brewery that's the best possible way to uplift the community like don't bring in coffee beans from Ethiopia just brew it with your local ingredients and share it and it will it will increase the wellness of your community in every way like financially physically emotionally every yeah, way it's a great product so we encourage um, like you know NGOs we're kind of repping ourselves as a potential NGO business and I think it's valid <laughs> I think it's good so anyway, we have a friend Tom visiting from Arizona right now and we're going to host a Sunday service this week and he's going to lead the worship and share a message and just hang out with us. So we're looking forward to that. And we're going to go to the Lotus Silk Farm with him today and just check out like the beautiful area surrounding Simeon. They are that... making, <laughs> like they're taking fibers from lotus flowers. These beautiful lotus fields. And... Have you guys seen a lotus in person? They're gorgeous. Now imagine a field's fields as far as you can see. That's what it is. Anyways, we're going to learn about how they take the flower apart and then like take the fibers out and then they weave it into, it's like called lotus silk and they weave Scorch. it into scarves, fabrics so or whatever. Super expensive. It takes like two months to make a scarf. So it's like something. labor intensive. 200 bucks for a scarf. Yeah. And it's a special but skill it's worth it. that very few people have. So anyways. I want to chop one up and sew a little piece of it onto every one of my shirts, like a little emblem of yeah. silk. <laughs> I might. <laughs> Okay, so that's the update. Give you for everything's going great, and we're kind of trying to stay limber. We're looking for another arm, investment arm. We are 50,000. Reaching out for prayer. It's 15K. Oh, sorry, it's 
50k for 15 percent the valuation of the company is sitting around 300,000 there's two locations um, this new arm involves a kegerator arm which is there's a business plan hey if you're interested let us know we have a business plan and um, yeah so maybe you'll see that on GoFundMe next week and we'll see what that does yeah we'll yeah, try to present well <laughs> And um, that's it. Hope right. you guys have a great week. Mm -hmm. Thanks for you know just following us and seeing how it goes. Like it's not all easy. I guess that's kind of the message. Is it's fun and it's exciting and it feels purposeful. But I wouldn't say it's always easy. <laughs> but we just try to like call up the energy that that we created this company in, which is to give, and, and we're trying to give of whatever we have. So um, yeah, we're called back to like called to courage <laughs> just keep going <laughs> we just get a little beat up we keep going that's our gig <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> so love you thank guys thank you guys 11 minutes <laughs>